<sighs> Notion. You probably clicked on this video because all your friends switched to Notion and now you're looking for a good reason why you should switch as well. And maybe you're not satisfied with OneNote as well. So in this video I'm going to discuss all the important benefits which led me to only use Notion. The struggles with OneNote. Don't get me wrong, OneNote has a really good note taking system and the benefit is the endless space feature which I really appreciate. However, the lack of structure is at the same time the limiting factor of your productivity. I realized this as I always wasted my time searching for the right key points. And there isn't really a way to sort the notes, which makes it hard to find the information you're looking for. Notion? What is that? An app which acts as a workspace providing you with an all-in-one service for notes, organization, tasks, calendar features and more. Available on all operating systems like Windows, Mac, iOS or Android. So I created some sort of a chapter system where every chapter is one semester. As you can see it's hard to lose the overview. It's simply structured and the layout looks really nice. You can also choose your own emojis for every page. As you can see in this semester where I need 30 credit points I have 5 subjects and every subject is divided into more sub subjects. So when you click on one you see more pages within these subjects. So today I decided to repeat my notes on thromembolism. I have a PDF summary on the top and revision questions I wrote for my exam preparation period because I practice active recall. More on this in my other video. A really cool thing is that you can add your answers to the revision questions and hide them behind the questions. Something no other app I can think of provides. In OneNote the answers would have just been shown under the questions. This really slows down your learning process. I probably would just pretend to answer the questions but actually look them up. In this example I imported already a PDF but you could also write the whole summary on Notion itself. You can also add pictures and move them freely, but unfortunately just to certain spots and not everywhere unlike with OneNote. This leads us to the next topic. Let's talk more about cons now. Notion has, unlike OneNote, no drawing features, which means you can't draw on your iPad or your Surface Pro. But this doesn't really bother me, since I use Drawboard PDF to write notes manually during classes and then copy them on Notion. This double notes taking system actually even improves my memorization process. Notion isn't only good for note taking and revision, it provides you also with a great list making feature. I, for instance, use this to make tables and write down my completed tasks on spaced repetition. Here you can see some tasks I did. And it's really easy to fill in more tasks. So let's say I completed a repetition unit on thromb embolism. I did fine but forgot some things. So then I fill in 3 out of 5. And something which I really like is the opportunity to open these sections individually as pages and then add comments or pictures you're able to be really creative with these features. So that's the end of my video on Notion and OneNote. And maybe I convinced some of you to give Notion a chance. If you have any questions or if you want to see other things, then write it down in the comment section. See you in the next video. Bye.